Today, on Be Something Wonderful, I stopped telling the story of I Am Not, and here's what happened. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Here we are, back in our studio in Las Vegas, Nevada, after traveling to Lima and Cusco, Peru. And I want to talk about an email that I read on my flight back, uh, not last night, but the night before. It was an all-night flight. And I wasn't ready to go to sleep yet. And what a wonderful email from a client that I've been talking with now for several weeks. And, and so her situation was about uh, her career, about a promotion to a partner, and her specific person, about her SP, her getting back with her SP. Well, here's what she said in the email, and then I'm going to give you a little bit more background. I stopped telling the story of I am not and just assumed I am. In other words, I am everything I want to be or have. Those are, I put that in, in parentheses, right? That, because that's what she was saying there. And she said, oh my God, it really isn't about my SP or specific person, my career. I totally get you or get it, I think she meant. But she goes, I totally get you now. So I want to, I want to talk about her realization because she talked about spending years um, watching videos, reading books, you know, she, a video would catch her eye that would say, you know, your, your SP wants you or your perfect career wants you. And she goes, you even talked about some of those uh, things in previous videos. And, and again, guys, it's not the title or the, the video itself in any of those cases. It's where are you looking? Because all that power is within you. And she finally got that, right? She, she goes, oh my God, I've been telling the story of what I am not. I've been telling the story of the life that I, I, that I don't want and not the life that I want. This was her realization. Big stuff here because she got the promotion. She's now, she's gonna be um, a partner, I think starting this summer in this firm that she's been working at and her SP did come back. But now she's just saying, it's really not about that stuff. I mean, she's not really, you know, she's, she's fired up in a way that, that, that uh, I haven't uh, seen her fired up, at least from this email. And we have a session later today, I will keep you posted. So remember, what Neville Goddard says about inner speech or inner talking, it's just the story you're telling yourself. I know some of you have said, well, tell me what to t say. Tell me what to do in self-talk. Guys, it's not about that. It's about within feeling that conviction that you're already that person you want to be and telling that story, right? Not telling the story, I got to do this or I got to do that. This is the, the conversations that we have with ourselves. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I don't think I'll get the promotion. I don't, I don't think he or she is coming back or it doesn't love me or all of that, right? As we control our inner talking, matching it to our fulfilled desires, we can lay aside all of the processes. Neville got a very powerful statement here. Lay aside all of the processes. This is what she got. What's the really process that you want? I am. Whatever you use with those words, that's your inner talking, that's your inner speech, whoever you think you are or what you are, right? It's not really about controlling. It's just stop telling the story of I am not, right? You don't have to control anything. Just stop telling that story. So let me hit this like we never have before. Remember, these are some of the topics that I think we're going to touch on tonight when I talk with her, but also that we touched on in, in previous videos and in previous sessions with her. Fulfillment is a state of being. It's I am. Fulfillment is an experience, right? The, and that experience is what we call reality creation or manifesting. Do you hear it? Fulfillment, you are fulfilled. And as you experience part of that absolute fulfillment that you are, we call that reality creation or manifesting, right? Or law of attraction, a law of correspondence, a law of cause and effect, whatever you want to call it, law of vibration, law of frequency, all of that is just experiencing that fulfillment that's always within you, already within you. It's I am, right? It's a state of being, but it's also an experience, right? You are a multidimensionally fully evolved divine being experiencing a part of that evolution at any one eternal moment. You're just experiencing that part of that fully evolved you. Look at all those realities, all of that. That's the multidimensional you right? That's the 3D you. That's what you focused in in the current frame of your life, 
But all of these lifelines, all of these realities, all of these identities are you and coming forth from you. So it's never about returning to a state of wish fulfilled. You are already there. You are I am. And that I am is all of it. Right? But when you say I am this or I am that or I am not this, I am not that, that's what you experience. So rather it's about choosing what experience of of the fulfilled you or fulfillment do you desire to put your focus and attention on now? What part of that multidimensional you, that infinity of which you are made and from where you come, what part do you want to put the focus on? Because it's all you. So whether you feel it or not, you are fulfilled. These are some of the conversations we had, right? Whether you feel it or not, right? Seeking this feeling of wish fulfilled, you are fulfilled. Whether you believe it or not, you are blessed. Whether you believe it or not, you're blessed. Whatever you feel or not, you're fulfilled. But when you feel it and believe it, that's the experience of heaven on earth. That's the kingdom that you're told to seek in scripture. Do you get it? This is what she's really getting. That I am, that kingdom. It, it's about, remember, the, what is the feeling? It's the conviction of I am. Not the conviction of I am not, not the belief that I am not, it's the conviction of I am. I am not impossible. You can never cease to exist, right? I am is the truth of who you are. So, but seek the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added to you. That's what they were saying, Jesus was saying in Luke 12, 31. Seek the kingdom, but how and where, right? These are the, these are the questions you have, right? And, and, and Jesus gives us the answer. Do not fear, little flock. In other words, don't, don't worry about those thoughts and beliefs and assumptions of lack and limitation. It's not who you are, right? Remember, flock or sheep represent thoughts and the flock of thoughts that represent fear, right? Do not fear. Do not. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. What a powerful statement in, in, in Luke 12, 32, after Jesus says, but first seek the kingdom. Right now, and then he said, but how and where? Well, the, the father already gave it to you. Wow. Can you believe this? This is what she got. Right? It's already yours. It's, it's the father's good pleasure. It's the great I am. It's, it's what you are one with. Yes, the father is greater than I, but you are one with the father. Right? It's already yours. You're already there. You're com it's complete and utter fulfillment. The paradox is there's nothing to feel. Nothing to believe, nothing to seek. It's all already yours. It's all already yours. There's nothing to, to do. We really talk about that, right? Except release all resistance to it, right? And rest in that fulfillment. The ancients gave us the secret in what, what some call the, the open secret, right? 3,000 years ago. Be still. In other words, cease striving and know that I am God. In Psalm 46, 10, more than 3,000 years ago, the answer was there. Be still. I am is beyond belief, beyond temporary feelings and 3D emotions in the, in the messy middle. Forget the emotions and in, in those temporary thoughts and feelings and beliefs and assumptions. They're all temporary. Be still. Cease the striving and know that I am God. Know that I am is a knowing, is a divine conviction that you exist and will always exist. This eternal being that you are is absolute fulfillment. This is what my client was getting at. I'm excited for this session tonight to talk about this. But in her email, it was amazing. She just stopped telling the story of I am not, right? And rested in that fulfillment, rested in the knowing that it's already hers, rested in the assumption that of course her SP or a specific person or anyone that she loves or is in love with it is hers if she wants it or that promotion that seemed out of reach is hers she got it she rested in that conviction she rested in that i amness she rested in the secret that the ancients gave us the open secret three thousand years ago be still and know i am god cease striving stop the struggle relieve remember what genevieve davis says right the path to everything you want the secret to that is to resist nothing. That's what she did. I stopped telling the story of I am not, and here's what happened. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. 
Creatives, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting on the videos. Uh, we have a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can find us there at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can share insight and guidance, and you can also ask for insight and guidance from others. We have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. More coming here from Las Vegas and from Be Something Wonderful with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. Creators, we'll see you soon.